Porsche 992 MagSafe installation. All you're gonna need is a Torx T25 driver. I'm gonna put some links below in case you don't already have one. There's no permanent modifications we're doing to the car. We're not cutting or drilling or anything. So to get started, we're gonna go ahead and pull your cup holder out. After the cup holder, we're gonna pull the trim out. And to get this trim out, basically just going to lift it out but the front has these prongs underneath here and if you lift those straight out you're going to break them off so those are going to need to slide back so to get this out you should kind of try to mash the the fat of my fingers underneath the sides here and you saw that it just kind of popped out and i made sure not to pop this out and then we just slide it back and out it goes so here's those prongs up front so you know, if you lift up without getting those prongs out, they're gonna break off. And same thing when we put this back in later, if you just mash down, you're gonna break those off. So just kind of remember that. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take out the bolts for the e-brake. I've already taken mine out, but these, that's what the T25 Torx is for. So I just throw them in that little cubby and then the e-brake switch comes out and it's just an electronic switch. I would not disconnect it. I would just leave it connected the whole time. But there's no wires or gears or anything in here. So we don't have to worry about that kind of stuff. And then this cubby base, it basically just slides back about a quarter of an inch and then lifts straight up. And don't worry, everything in here that needs to be protected has, you know, cable covers on it. There's nothing in here that's going to really, you know, that we're going to really screw up because we're binding up gears or, or getting in the way of shifters or something like that. everything's electronic in here so once all that's done let's pull this rubber mat out which is always harder than it should be all right inside here is a little slot that porsche cut for us it just has a piece of tape and some insulation uh under it so just take your torque driver and just kind of push down in that area don't worry, there's nothing under there that you're going to hurt. Uh, just kind of push it down to get the tape out of the way and get the insulation out of the way. We're just kind of making a little, little path for our USB cable because it's going to plug in back here. So your unit came with this fishing tool. We're going to take this, take the plastic end of the fishing tool and run it into that little area that we just cleared out and kind of watch for it to come out the other side. Once it's out the other side, keep this side, keep this end so you can still grab it. Then take your USB and plug it in. And then we're just gonna pull that back through. And while you're pulling, you should be pushing the wire from this end, otherwise it'll probably end up popping off if you put too much, if you pull too hard and not push the other end through. So it might take you a couple times, especially if the tool gets turned. There we go. And once that's through, pop that off and then just plug that in. Doesn't matter which one. Get some slack for it. You can put your rubber mat back in if you want to. It's not going to sit flat, but uh, it'll be fine. And I'm going to come back up here, get the cubby back in. And then we're gonna take the cable from for our MagSafe charger, and there's these little three little nipples, little notches on top, tabs actually, three little tabs. We're gonna put it in the corner out of the way of those tabs. So in the corner, and then we put our parking brake switch back in. Make sure that's kind of stays in that corner rounded part. And there's enough flex in this in this cubby base that when we put our parking switch in and then screw it in that everything's still going to line up just fine so i kind of what i do is get these mostly snug and once mostly snug probably just another quarter turn torque it down you don't want that coming loose all right, next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put the MagSafe charger in. Actually take the, the fishing tool, just store it in here. If you ever need it again, you know where it is. And then our MagSafe charger, 
is we take the back notches and kind of slide those in first. And then on the front, put your thumbs on the front corners and just push one side and the other side, and it's gonna be locked in. And that's not coming out until the next time that you uh, deliberately wanna take it out. Last thing we need to do is put our trim back in. Remember our, 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 uh, our notches up front here need to slide in first so we don't break them off. And then push in the back sides and you are done installing.